Hey guys, it's Tucker in here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to remove background noise in OBS Studio. You might have that keyboard clicking sound or a fan in the background that you need to actually get rid of that background noise because it's kind of annoying to your viewers or you just don't like it for yourself when you're recording something. And I've been in that situation. I've helped my brother in that situation with his stupid fan. So I'm gonna help you here today. So what you're gonna do is load up OBS Studio. Now I have it already open up here and today I disabled all my filters I normally use for my microphone. So if I stop talking, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear my PC in the background. So you can see that little gold glowing bar, that was my PC hissing in the background, so I want to remove that. And if you want to remove your fans, it's going to be the same process. What you're going to do is click on the three dots here, go to filters, you want to add either two different options. First of all, click on the plus icon to add a noise suppression. Now most times around you can use the default one that comes with it, which is the RN noise. And this is the one you want to use most time around because this is actually the good one. It removes your background noise, it's going to remove the keyboard clicking, fan noises, and it's actually the good quality. There is another version of it where it's the Speed X, which uses your CPU, it's lower quality, it isn't particularly the best. So I wouldn't recommend using it unless you really have to. So most times around, our noise will take care of everything you need to deal with. So now for example, if I stop talking, you're gonna see that the whole background noise from my computer is gone from the fans. So you can see it worked perfectly fine so that's awesome but let's just say for example here that didn't work for you is there another thing you can do absolutely you go back into your actual three dots go to filters you can add another one which is the noise gate now the noise gate it gets a little bit complex i want to explain it to you guys so first of all you have an open threshold and a closed threshold the open threshold will be whatever your decibel is set to it will be allowed to capture audio from that point and anything lower than that it won't catch it from it however for the close threshold it's kind of the opposite so let's say for example here i want to make sure that i don't want to have like some big fan noise in the background right i can turn this on it would work properly now it's already in action right now which you can probably hear from the background of my mic it's limiting what my audio sounds like so you can drag this however you want and i would recommend play testing this this is one of those things you gotta kind of listen to and see what works so let's say you have something in the background that's being really really loud right I want to look for in the background whatever my thing is and I would just want to play with this you just play with this for a bit figure out what your open threshold is and your close threshold is and then you'll most times around figure out what you need to actually set it to but I do say most times around you won't need a noise gate I usually never use one because it just never makes sense to but if you do need to use one I would recommend it now another thing to keep in mind about making your audio sound and getting removing background noise make sure your mic is pointing the direction you want it to because sometimes around some people point their mic and they put it on like the side and stuff like that but especially with like the Sherm 7b I know some people who really talk into the side of it you're supposed to talk in the direct front of it the flat part so make sure your mic is pointing the right direction for yourself but that's how you make your audio sound so much better inside of obs and remove background noise if you guys did find this video helpful here today then you know what to do make sure to smash like button get subscribed to some of the future tech content until then have a great day tech rant out